And the next question in applied science section is during the forced vibration, if the forced frequency is F1 and natural frequency is F2, the body resonates if the right answer is option 2. That is F2 should be greater than the F1. That is natural frequency should have a higher value than the forced frequency. So then the body will resonates in the forced vibration. The next question is the fundamental frequency of a transverse vibration of a stretched string is inversely proportional to the right answer is option 2 that is the length of a string. So it is inversely proportional to the length of a string. The next question is a minimum length of a hall to produce an echo is the right answer is option 4 that is 17 meter. So if the hall is having less than 17 or 17 meter, so then the echo will be produced in the hall in that particular hall. So what is this echo? So in audio signal processing or acoustics, the echo is a reflection of a sound. So that arrives at the listeners within the delay after the direct sound. The next question is the property of a light that Huygens wave theory could explain is the right answer is option 3 that is interference. So interference is well described by Huygens wave theory. The next question is the spectrum of a black body radiation is successfully explained by the right answer is option 4 that is Planck's quantum theory of a light. So what is this Planck quantum theory? So according to Planck's quantum theory, the different atoms and molecules can emit or absorb the energy in discrete quantities only. And the smallest amount of energy that can be emitted or absorbed in the form of electromagnetic radiation is known as quantum. So that is a one point. And another point according to quantum theory is the energy of radiation absorbed or emitted is directly proportional to the frequency of radiation. So these are the two different statements of Planck's quantum theory of lights. The next question is for a constructive interference of a light, the path difference should be the right answer is option one. That is it should be 2n lambda divided by 2. The next question is the two very close objects are just resolved if the central maximum of a one object is on the right answer is option two that is first minimum of other so the next question is the light is incident at polarizing angle theta p and the angle of reflection is r so then so in this question he has asked the relation between theta p and r so the right answer is option two that is theta p plus r will be equals to 90 de degree so that is angle of polarizing and the angle of reflection will be equal to 90 degree. The next question is a minimum energy required to remove an electron from the metal surface is called the right answer is option 3 that is work function. So that is a energy required to remove the electrons from the metal surface is called work function. The next question is when the size of a scattering particle is small, the intensity of a scattered light is inversely proportional to the right answer is option 1 that is fourth power of wavelength. And the next question is the time for which an atom stays in a metastable state in the order of the right answer is option 2 that is milliseconds. The next question is if an element emits an beta rays, then its atomic number is the right answer is option 1 that is increased by 1. So if an, any element emits the beta rays, so then its atomic number will be increased by 1. So what is this atomic number? So atomic number or a proton number of an, a chemical element is the number of protons found in the nucleus of every atom of an element. So when any element emits the beta rays, so its atomic number is increased by 1. The next question is if the concentration of H plus ions is more than the 10 raised to minus 7 grams ion per liter, the solution is the right answer is option 2 that is it is the, the solution will be acid. So what is this pH number? 
pH is a scale used to specify how acidic or basic a uh, water based solution is. And acidic solutions have a lower pH value and the basic solutions have much higher value of pH. So here H minus is there. So it is a acidic. So since it is very lower value, so the solution is acidic. The next question is a galvanic cell is one in which the right answer is option one. A chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. So galvanic cell is a device in which the chemical energy is converted into electrical energy that is option one. So what is this galvanic cell? A galvanic cell or voltic cell is an electrochemical cell. So that converts the electrical or that produces the electrical energy from spontaneous redox reaction taking place within the cell. So, and the next question is the SI unit of coefficient of viscosity. The is, right answer is option one that is poise. So what is this coefficient of viscosity? It is the measure of viscosity of an fluid. It is defined as the ratio of applied stress to the rate of straining. So that is a coefficient of viscosity. The next question is the prefix used for 10 raised to plus 9 is the right answer is option 3 that is giga. What is this prefix 10 raised to plus 9? So giga is a decimal unit prefix in a metric system denoting the multiplication of 10 raised to 9. And even we are having a some other uh, decimal unit prefix which are used in a metric system. Here I have given some examples. 10 raised to 2 we call it as hecta. 10 raised to minus 2 we call it as centi. 10 raised to minus 12 we call it as pico. And 10 raised to 15 we call as peta. So these are some other examples and still we are having many decimal unit prefixes. So the, the next question is the physical quantity which has a dimensional formula m raised the next question is the physical quantity which has the dimensional formula m l raised to 0 t raised to minus 2 is the right answer is option 2 that is surface tension. So we are having a 7 basic uh, physical quantities from which we obtain the dimensional formulas. So in that m is a mass, l is a length and the t is a time. The next question is the least count of a slide caliper is given by the right answer is option 3 that is main scale division minus vernier scale division. So the least count in the slide caliper is given by main scale reading main scale division minus vernier scale division that is option 3. The next question is the product of force and time is the right answer is option 3 that is impulse. So what is this impulse? Uh, impulse is an uh, integral of an, a force over a time interval t which on which it acts. The force is a vector quantity so the impulse is also a vector quantity and SI unit of impulse is Newton second. And the last question in applied science section is the change in the position of a particle in perpendicular direction is referred as the right answer is option 2 that is velocity. So what is this velocity? In geometry and mechanics the displacement is a vector whose length is shortest distance from the initial to final position of a point undergoing a motion is called a velocity. So the change in the position of a particle in a particular direction is referred as velocity.